As of July 2025, Russia's POC DA, Prospective Aviation Complex for Long Range Aviation, program remains deeply stalled, with little publicly verified progress toward developing a next generation strategic stealth bomber. First conceptualized in the late 2000s, and with early design goals becoming public in the early 2010s, the project has gone through multiple delays, periods of silence, contradictory claims, and increasingly skeptical evaluations from defense experts. The POC DA, despite being referred to repeatedly in public speeches, state media, and occasional defense industry statements, has not yet yielded a flying prototype or a credible roadmap to operational status. The original ambition of the POC DA was to create a low observable, subsonic, flying wing bomber with intercontinental range and the ability to carry both conventional and nuclear payloads. The project was framed as a response to evolving global military environments, particularly to match or counter similar strategic systems in development or already operational elsewhere. The aircraft would use advanced stealth design principles, internal weapon bays, new generation communications and radar systems, and possibly hypersonic compatible launch capability. These were highly ambitious goals, and they remain far from realized. The most significant issue surrounding the POC DA, today is the complete lack of evidence that a prototype has reached an integrated, testable state. While reports in 2020 and 2021 from Russian sources claimed that individual subsystems were under testing and parts of the prototype had entered production, no physical rollout, engine test, ground taxi, or static display has been observed or confirmed by external analysts. Over the past two years, speculation about a potential first flight has repeatedly appeared in state media, with various dates including 2023 and 2024 suggested. None of these projections materialized. Current best estimates suggest that if work continues, the first realistic timeline for a flying testbed might now be in late 2026 or 2027, but even that depends on whether the necessary technologies and production infrastructure can be brought online. Technically, the POC DA program faces structural limitations rooted in Russia's aerospace sector. The development of a low observable strategic bomber requires advanced composite materials, highly specialized production facilities, and extensive modeling in radar cross-section reduction, all areas where Russia has historically lagged. Unlike integrated stealth aircraft where radar-absorbing properties are embedded during airframe construction, Russia relies on applied coatings such as those developed by SCAPE, Special Coatings and Paints Enterprise. These coatings offer a degree of radar signature suppression, but they are inferior to structural stealth composites, especially against advanced multi-frequency radar systems. This places a fundamental limit on the stealth performance of any platform Russia can produce with current industrial capabilities. Moreover, stealth isn't just about shape and materials, it's also about managing heat emissions, minimizing electronic signatures, and tightly integrating all mission systems within a confined and non-reflective architecture. These demands strain Russia's defense electronics industry, which has struggled under the weight of export restrictions, microelectronics shortages, and limited domestic fabrication capabilities. Russia's aerospace sector has a known backlog of avionics modernization projects that remain incomplete. This raises serious doubts that a sixth-generation stealth bomber, with highly advanced electronic warfare, threat detection, and autonomous capabilities, could be built with current assets. Public statements and leaks from Russian defense circles in recent years have painted an inconsistent picture. While government officials occasionally tout on scheduled development and present the project as vital for long-range strike capability, Independent Russian analysts and international observers have pointed to a complete lack of transparency regarding benchmarks, technical results, or prototype stages. No photos, videos, or credible images of a full-sized aircraft have been released, not even in secure, closed-air events or defense expos. This is highly unusual for such a program, especially when compared to how other countries demonstrate next-gen aerospace capability even during early phases. It strongly suggests the absence of a complete prototype. In organizational terms, the POC DA is being developed under the umbrella of the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, with Tupolev as the lead design bureau. Tupolev has historical experience in strategic bomber production, including the 295 and 2160, but it has not developed a clean sheet design of a stealth aircraft before. Internal problems within UAC and Tupolev have made headlines in recent years, leadership shakeups contract delays, interperformance in other military aviation programs, and supplier disputes have all been publicly reported. These systemic issues directly affect programs like the POC-DA, 
which depend on consistent oversight, stable funding, and a unified long-term engineering effort. Without them, timelines drift, and designs become obsolete before completion. Another underreported issue is the economic and labor pressure facing the Russian aerospace industry. Since 2022, sanctions have impacted not only Russia's access to materials and technologies but also its internal supply chains. Many of the skilled engineers and specialists required for fifth-generation and stealth aircraft development are nearing retirement, and Russia is struggling to replenish this workforce. Education and training programs have not scaled up fast enough to replace decades of lost experience. Internal migration, emigration of high-tech workers, and the diversion of resources to more immediate needs, like battlefield sustainment and tactical systems, make long-term stealth projects even more vulnerable. The narrative presented by Russian state media often overstates progress. Reports of testing, prototype completion, or stealth integration frequently rely on generalized terms or are based on statements without corroborating evidence. No official government defense budget line item has broken down POC DA spending in a way that would suggest full-scale production planning is underway. The defense press often recycles the same few phrases, strategic development, national priority, on schedule, without indicating where in the R&D or prototyping cycle the aircraft truly is. This makes it likely that the project is being used, at least in part, as a messaging tool rather than a practical acquisition effort. Recent strategic losses, including Ukrainian strikes on Russian bomber bases, could have acted as a catalyst for renewed urgency in stealth bomber development. In practice, however, the response has been largely conservative. Russia has prioritized the refurbishment and dispersal of older aircraft such as the Tu-95 and Tu-160, rather than accelerating stealth programs. This reflects both operational necessity and the lack of near-term alternatives. The POC-DA is not seen even internally as something that could replace these aircraft before the mid-2030s. As of now, there is no operational production line, no flight-tested prototype, and no functional stealth materials integration pipeline. Unless a drastic shift in funding, industrial capacity, and technological access occurs, the POC-DA will likely remain a long-term aspiration. Even if a prototype is rolled out in 2026 or 2027, it is expected by analysts to serve more as a demonstrator than as an actual combat-ready asset. The POC-DA faces a wide array of interconnected disadvantages, absence of verified progress, reliance on outdated stealth approaches, shortages in critical components, insufficient infrastructure, underdeveloped mission systems, institutional instability, and economic constraints. Its delays are now measured not in months but in years, and its role in national propaganda significantly outweighs its real-world presence. Despite public portrayals, the aircraft is not close to entering service and may never move past the prototype or concept phase without a massive overhaul of Russia's entire defense aviation ecosystem.